Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Dobbs here. Bring you guys another episode of cheap start of the week players that can help your hot team, alright? So, first episode I did, I'm not really making a series or anything like that, but I had a really, really good uh, outcome on that video and thank you guys a lot for that. But I've also been testing around with more Star of the Week players, more regular cards. I've been finding some hidden gems people necessarily wouldn't spend like crazy money on. They'd rather get that Crosby or that, uh, that I don't know, that Ovechkin, you know, Ryan Suter, whatever, right? But um, I found that um, a bunch of these Star of the Week players I've been playing with play really well in game. And that's the thing with most cards that... Um, the cheap ones end up playing better. That's just from my standpoint. And I'm going to show you guys uh, some really, really good uh, high-end players that you guys can pick up for a pretty low price. And when I say by low price, uh, for Star of the Week player, the maximum you can probably spend is like 30 k So uh, that's relatively cheap for some Star of the Week players, but they're definitely worth it for these types of players. So let's get going here. We're going to kick it off with the first Star of the Week player, and that's going to be Star of the Week Gardener. I just pulled this guy in a pack, if you guys watched my uh, Pack Hunters episode. Um, this guy is absolutely insane. Like, uh, He's a two-way, right? So we got two-way NHL. Uh, we'll go to Toronto, uh, USA, and boom, all right? So, yeah, Gardner is one hell of a defenseman. Uh, you can get him for 15 k right here. I mean, it's really cheap, but... Uh, that's the 80 or that's the 83 version uh, 86 I'd highly recommend the 90 skating the 83 shot 80 hands his hands are ridiculous uh, checking is pretty doable like it's not it's not horrible whatsoever um, He's definitely not the biggest guy, but he can definitely hold his own. So that's why I really like Gardner. He can play on both ends of the rink. And um, he's a very, very enjoyable player to play with. So uh, you can find the 86 rated for pretty cheap. I'd say like your 20k. Uh, you could probably get him for on a good day, but it looks like the cheapest one right now uh, would be 22k, so uh, you could even bid on the, some players. This one hasn't even got a bid, so you can get them for pretty cheap. Um, I'd say you can get them as low as 20k, um, so yeah, you can get them for pretty cheap. You can even get them for steel, maybe like 18k or something like that. Who knows, but uh, he's definitely worth the pox regardless, so uh, that's one player. Another player, this is going to come out from left field, really, um, but uh, we're going to go with Power Forward, NHL, and then we're going to go back to any we're gonna go to the New York Rangers and uh, yeah right here center okay that's two way forward oops there we go power forward we got Brian Boyle and many of you guys are saying what this plug no this guy is so damn good um, on a line with Lucic and Hosa oh my god it's so good you probably get an all better alternative than Hosa uh, for chemistry style uh, reasons but Nonetheless, this guy's one hell of a player. 84 skating, definitely not the fastest. But you're gonna be playing him on your fourth line more than likely. So 83 shots, not that great. I mean it's decent. 80 hands is by means nothing special. Uh, 90 checking and 85 defense. That is what's really good about him. And he's 6'7, 244 pounds. This guy's a powerhouse. You'll absolutely run over any player. This guy is uh, he's a really good player to play with, and I enjoy him a lot. He's just an absolute beast down low and if you're trying to get a puck off someone like and you have boil there is no no problems that uh, uh that you should not get the puck right so um he's very good uh on the body and you can definitely shield the puck and play down low really well with uh brian boyle he's a very underrated star of the week player um <clears throat> Next, we're going to go with a center on Phoenix. Uh, some some of you guys may already know, uh, but we're going to be going with Star of the Week um, Vermet. So, for Star of the Week Vermet is very, very good. Um, he's comparable to another Star of the Week player I'm going to be uh, telling you guys in this episode. But uh, Star of the Week Vermet is one of the fastest players I've played with. I don't currently have him anymore because I've obviously upgraded my team, but when I had him before, this guy would fly. He's so damn fast. And 89 skating, that is a lot. It feels like a 92 at least. So his skating is definitely a strong suit. And he can play really well defensively. So I can definitely chip in an odd goal here and there, obviously. Uh, with pretty decent offensive stats. But his skating and his defensive play, um, he's always in the right position, I find. So he's a very good positional player and a very fast player. So he's a really good player. Um, just an all-around two-way forward and he can pot you in some goals maybe some breakaways some shorthanded goals on the penalty kill he's just a very effective player and you can get him for really cheap i just saw one sold uh for around 9k so you can get him really cheap right so um obviously the cheapest one right now is 13k but uh, you can probably get him a lot lower so very very good player nonetheless 
Uh, next we're going to go with another two-way forward, and he is on Detroit. I see many people use him. It is Star of the Week Darren Helm. And once again, very comparable to Star of the Week Vermette, but he's, an he's another really good option. He's a little more expensive because uh, of the 90 skating rights, so um, that's why he's a bit more expensive. But you can probably get him cheaper than this, to be honest. I don't know the market value for him, but nonetheless, as you guys can see, 15K is really cheap for this type of player. I mean, 90 skating, 84 shot, 84 hands, 83 tracking an 87 defense so a very good player um, not the biggest player by no means 5 foot 11 192 uh, Vermette's a little bit bigger but once again if you want more speed as opposed to uh, kind of like a bigger body frame uh, than Vermette Vermette's not really that big either but um, you're probably better off with the helm right so uh, but it feels that Vermette's faster, but on if you guys are just looking at stats based on the card, it says Helm is faster, but I find Vermette just flies for me. Both are really, really fast, and you can't go wrong with either one, but uh, for the money, I would say definitely go with Vermette, but uh, Darren Helm is another really good alternative, so you can even put him on a wing. Who knows? You can go Helm on the wing, and then you can go like Vermette at center, because he has a pr I think he has a good face-off ring, or is it the other way around? I think they both have pretty decent face-off rings, but you can put one on the wing, and get another speed two-way forward on the right wing, right? So, uh, two really good two-way forward um, alternatives there. So, we got uh, those guys down. And uh, one more two-way forward. We're going to be going with the San Jose two-way forward and Joe Pavelski. This guy, man, very, very fun player to play with. Um, I got the 88 version when I played with him. I The 89 is obviously better. Uh, you also get the player of the game version, which is a lot. So um, I really wouldn't recommend that. Steer clear of that. But um, when I had the 88 version, this guy, he's just so damn good on the draw. Really good, well-rounded player. He's 5'11", 190. Once again, he's not the biggest player. But 89 skating, 87 shot, 89 hands. Those hands are crazy. I mean, mix of the speed, uh, r above average shot, I would say. Uh, 84 checking. You can even get a better shot when you get the 89 version. So 88 shot, uh, 84 checking. He so he can pretty he can hold his own pretty well. And 88 defense. So this guy is really really good at taking draws. If you guys are looking for a centerman with a really high faceoff rank, go with Pavelski. Um, and he's really good for like a third or fourth line position. I have just normal Bergeron right now because of the 95 face-offs but once I had the AA Pavelski he was so damn good for me so I highly recommend him if you have the box once again he has a higher range just a well-rounded player uh, for 2k more you can get an 88 Pavelski as opposed to a helm so you can go have like a line of Pavelski helm and uh, uh, Vermette so really really good two-way forwards um, that can play well in both ends of the rink so and last but not least, uh, uh, do we have one more? I think that's it. I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh, I think there was one more. I can't really remember right now. But that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I couldn't remember that last one. But if you guys want me to do another video like this, let me know in the comments. A bunch of you guys really enjoyed the last one, like I said. I really appreciate that. And I've got, I still get feedback to this day. A lot of people are saying, oh, I picked up Star of the Week Garris, and he's absolutely amazing for me. So, um, yeah, well, I've, I've tested these players, guys, and I've been having really good turnouts. So, I, I really do appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. So, once again, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you've used any of these players, let me know how they play for you. Would you like to see another episode like this? And maybe a non-Star of the Week version, a Star of the or a Team of the Year version? Who knows? Just let me know in the comments, and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. So, once again, guys... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and be sure to like, Players, comment, guys. subscribe guys for more NHL 14 videos. That is right guys. Peace. All this attention got me hype. Cut the lights. Baby, this ain't only for the night. Baby, this is life. Uh, this is where I'm taking flight and never touching down. Said it, now they know I'm in it when I say we run the town.